let's keep going. Let's build on this logic. We're going to take a deeper look at these uh, mandated required face coverings, face diapers that are capturing the, the waste materials that the body is trying to eliminate. And it's also prohibiting the oxygen intake. You know, you could go weeks without water. You might be able to go months without food. But you can't go more than five to ten minutes without air. So this is a very important uh, topic. We want to take a deeper look. Now, when you look at the mass, you can see that it's actually in the shape of the... formaldehyde okay and I pulled up more of the uh, article that has information about the uh, research that was done on this and the top German scientists have found that wearing certain type of face masks for long periods of time could result in potentially hazardous chemicals and harmful microplastics being inhaled deep into human lungs. Professor Michael Brogart, director at the Hamburg Environmental Institute and co-founder of the world-renowned cradle-to-cradle environmental standard, has told Ex Eco Textile News that mask wearers unwittingly run the risk of breathing in carcinogens, allergens, and tiny synthetic microfibers by wearing both textile and non-woven surgical masks for long periods of time. His findings have been backed up by another leading industry textile chemist, Dr. Dieter Sedlak, managing director and co-founder of Modern Testing Services, Augsburg, Germany, in partnership with Modern Testing Services Global, Hong Kong, who have found elevated concentrations of hazardous fluorocarbons, formaldehyde, and other potentially carcinogenic substances on surgical face masks. And the fact that they are encouraging children to wear these masks who have actually the lowest risk of obtaining a serious so-called virus is just complete blasphemy. Uh, Dr. Seedlack has also shown the presence of compounds through his studies such as butane oxmine, carcinogenic, block desoconates used as cross-linkers for perfluorocarbons on face masks. Um, these are very hazardous chemicals that are found by actual scientists who are experts in biochemistry. And, you know, these are their findings. These governments and these businesses, you know, they're not experts on anything as far as uh, materials that are going to be harmful to you. They would have to rely on the experts and, you know, telling me about what the CDC says and how the CDC encourages this is unacceptable, okay? The CDC is a center for disease control, so, you know, this is a place that actually makes diseases, okay? It's in the name of the company. So, taking their advice, you have to take it with a grain of salt. You know, this is the same company that has uh, released information as to um, meat, which is flesh, animal flesh, sometimes maybe even human flesh that you're eating. And, you know, they clearly state that it's best not to even clean this meat because it spreads the uh, contaminants around your kitchen. The best thing to do is uh, to not try to clean it. <laughs> it's to eat it. 
You know, it's like these people are going to give you half of the truth. The best thing to do is not to eat it and not to have it in your kitchen. But they're not going to encourage you to do that. They're going to encourage you to uh, eat it a certain way, which is the way that animals in the wild eat it raw as it as it is. And unless you're an animal in the wild, I can't even see why you'll be doing this anyways. So, just wanted to give you some more details on the, uh, the information regarding the uh, substances that were actually found inside of the, uh, the face masks that were tested. Also, these masks are meant to be used and discarded, and people often keep them in their pocket. You know, they're putting the same mask on, they have it around their, their uh, chin, and, you know, it's like... <laughs> You know, people wear these things like they're a face diaper because they are. And, you know, you're actually at a higher risk for cross-contamination when you have it in areas where bacteria could get on the mask and now you put it back on your face and breathe it. It's just the most idiotic thing that you could do is to have this mask on your face. And if you don't care about your own well-being and assert your position as being a, a man or a woman that has the right to protect their person, then that must mean you're not. And maybe that's the underlying problem here is that people need to recognize who they are and who has the real power here. It's like there's no entity that can force you to do something that's against your own well-being. It's like if you try to take one of these masks and put it on an animal in the wild, that animal is going to think just based on instincts that you're trying to harm it. You're trying to restrict the air intake, which will cause it to die. It has enough sense by cooperating with Mother Nature to know this, but you're supposed to be more advanced than these animals, and you don't? It's like something is seriously wrong here.